Well, tell us a little bit about the 79 recording and uh, which period of your career that was. What, what was the show about? Was there a theme to it? And what were the songs that you were singing at the time? Well, that show was very much the representation of the first two albums and was basically putting visual interpretation to the songs. And uh, I think there was only one or two songs left off. And um, really that's how I see the shows, as being when I've got enough material to then visually um, put together, that's what I like to do. And it's a shame really that I couldn't do a, a show this year to sort of um, visualise the last two albums, but it'll just have to be three albums mm. <laughs> next time. Now the shows that you do, the live shows, are as important as the records as far as you're concerned, and you put a lot of effort and energy and expense, I would have thought, into the shows, a lot of dresses, a lot of costumes, and dance as well. It seems appropriate that we're in your dance rehearsal studio today. It's a slightly hollow sound, and, and here we are talking about that aspect of you. You're not just a singer, but you're a performer, a dancer as well, aren't you? Yes, uh, I seem to have become so. I mean, I think I, I got interested in dance um, originally when I saw a Lindsay Kemp production, knowing that there was something more I wanted to add my mu to my music, but not knowing what. And it suddenly made sense that movement was a perfect complement to music, and that they're both expressions of emotional uh, turmoil or whatever. Um, so it made sense to put the two together, really. And um, again, especially the video medium, it's, it's perfect to uh, exploit in. Now, going back to the dreaming, and uh, talking about that musical project, it was rather unique for you in, in that you did most of the production, if not all the production on it yourself, as well, of course, of, of, of singing that very unique voice of yours, didn't you? Tell us about that project and how that came about, why you did it that way. Well, I think really the production thing has been something that has been gradually growing as uh, my career has been moving on. I mean, really, the first album was the only album where I had no true say um, over the producer and uh, gradually as I did album by album I found that what I was having to do really was basically convince the producer that what I wanted w would work so um, it came to a stage where I wanted to go for pro producing myself but wasn't totally brave enough um, so I went for a co-production with my engineer John Kelly and um, that worked very well and then uh, writing songs for this last album, they sounded very different again from the stuff that I'd done before. And I just felt that it was something I could handle as a producer, so I felt it was worth a try. And having got three tracks down and they sounded good, then everyone felt good, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But I think it is really something I've, I've wanted since the second album, where I felt that if I could just um, have more control over it, I could get more of what I want to be said on the album.